Hey guys, it's Adriana here from AdDoLab and welcome to Get Clicked SEO. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to check if Google has awarded your site with rich snippets. So first of all, what do rich snippets look like? So rich snippets can look different from store to store depending on if you have star ratings or blog articles. Let me show you some examples. In example one, we have a website that has no reviews. So they don't have any reviews currently for any of their products, but they still have a rich snippet. In this example, the rich snippet is displaying the pricing of the product as well as the availability. And this is probably the most common one that you would see because a lot of people don't have product reviews. It takes time to get star ratings. So this is a great way to start out. And in example two here, this is a store that does have reviews. And so you would see the star rating right here and some voting, some pricing for the product and availability. In example three, we have blog articles. So a website that implements writing blog articles and Google can choose to display the date publish field on search results. So it would look like that. So here in example four, this website has cornerstone content and cornerstone content is basically these keyword rich pages that have a lot of great, unique, high quality content. And Google will take notice of this and they can choose to make these uh, pages clickable from the search engine results page directly. So that would look like that. Not very common. This is a website with a lot of backlinks and high SEO. So that's why they're getting this little extra uh, in enhanced search result. And in example five, this is the Cadillac of rich snippets. This is again, not typical at all. This is a company that's been around for a long time, really, really strong SEO. And so Google has decided to create this beautiful <laughs> shortcut to each of these pages. And it looks like that. So what you're mostly looking for are these three, the date published, the star ratings and the pricing availability. All right, so now that you know what kind of rich snippets to look for, I'm gonna show you how to perform a site scope. A site scope tells Google to show me all of the pages they find with the store URL. And Google tends to display your pages in order of importance. So you go to Google and in the search bar, you just type in site, S-I-T-E, colon, and then you paste in your store URL. I recommend taking off the HTTPS colon slash slash. Okay. So now you're just left with that. And we're going to go ahead and click search. And now these are the search results. So as we discussed before, this is a rich snippet because it's the publish date. And we're just going to keep scrolling. I see a lot of these article rich snippets but we're gonna be looking for some product rich snippets. So automatically we know this company has been awarded rich snippets because Google has given them these for the blog article, but I'm sure the company is more interested in enhancing their products. So here we go. This is a product that they sell and this is a rich snippet. We have the pricing and the availability. Now, if you wanna see only the products that Google has awarded rich snippets for, you would just type in space and then in URL colon products. Now this is just going to show you the products for your company. So here we have another one right here, and this is another rich snippet. And again, these are in order of importance. So this is Google saying that, you know, I'm ordering these in terms of ranking. So here's another company called Swift Fly Fishing, and they're a customer of ours. We're going to go ahead and enter this into Google. So we'll do site and then enter in the URL and delete the first part of it, the HTTPS. And now we're going to look for rich snippets. Okay, right away we see that there is a star rating. So this is a rich snippet and we have a lot of extra information right here. This is the enhanced part where we have a star rating, we have votes, we have pricing for the product and the currency, and we also have the availability. So this is great. And we can go to the next page and we see another one right here, another one right there. Okay, perfect. And notice how sometimes a product doesn't have a star rating yet, so that rich snippet will appear differently. 
Again, if we just want to see the products, we can type in in URL colon products. And we see that it's just the products. Look at that. That's great. So remember, when you're looking for rich snippets, don't uh, shy away from clicking the next page of results. Sometimes you might not find a rich snippet until page five or even page seven. So just kind of search around and see if you see any. If you don't see any rich snippets, you don't have to worry. Uh, usually this just means that you need to wait a little bit longer for Google to crawl and index your website. And remember that it takes Google a minimum of three to 12 weeks to crawl your index. And that's just the minimum. So we're talking a couple months. And sometimes it has taken Google up to six months in very rare cases to crawl and index some websites. So one way that you can check and see that Google has visited your website is by signing up for a free account with Google Search Console. So this is Google Search Console. You can go to www.google.com slash webmasters. And this is a free tool provided by Google that allows you to see when Google has visited your website. Basically, it helps to answer the question, has Google crawled and indexed my site yet? The reason it's important to see if Google has visited your website is because they can't award your site with enhanced search results if they've never been to your site. So after getting an account with Google Search Console, you'll need to wait for them to visit your website and start collecting the data on your site. And if you do add new pages or update a page, it takes time for Google to visit your site again and archive this information. So just be patient. On Google Search Console, you can see how many pages that Google has indexed. And you can also see if there are any crawl issues happening on your site. A crawl issue means that for some reason Google is having trouble accessing pages on your website. So if you do see any serious crawl issues, you'll want to fix these right away. Okay, so now we've explained what rich snippets look like, how you can find them using a site scope, and how you can see if Google has visited your website by signing up for Google Search Console. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to email us at support at adulab.com. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys.